Guys, we've got something new from Rock Hobby. This is the Mogrich. Bit of a strange name, I know. It's a 118 scale Unimog. It looks really cool. So it's 118 scale, four wheel drive. There's some specs on the uh, side there to give you a bit more information about it. I will go over the specs a little bit more in a minute. As always, well presented by Rock Hobby in this foam box. There's the transmitter. Now this one, um, a lot of the other Rock Hobbies come with two speed boxes, high and low gear and stuff. I think this is just a basic four by four setup. No gearbox, no switchable transmission, etc. It does look really nice. It's an open sky. It's not what we know. It's where we go. It's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. Uh, Mogrich, an RC powered model car that dominates all kinds of complex terrain. As always, you can trust Rock Hobby forever. So you get a set of instructions, 380 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt li uh, LiPo, little USB charger, wheel hex and the transmitter, which under here, will be way more buttons than you actually need for this, but there'll be light control under there, you've got steering, jaw rate, steering, trim. This is the generic transmitter that they use for a lot of their models. But like I mentioned, this one has got no um, fancy gearboxes or split transmission on it. It is just a basic, but actually it's quite heavy. It's a um, four wheel drive, front and rear uh, fixed solid axles. These tires feel nice and soft. There's not not much giving them, and they got wheel weights in. What if they got wheel weights in there? They definitely feel like there's some kind of restriction there. So these are beadlock wheels, and just feeling the weight of it, I reckon, I'm not gonna take one apart today because I wanna take it out for a run, but I reckon there's some weight to them, or there's weight in them wheels, because that feels really nice. It's got a lot of that low down weight. Anyway, what else we got? So rear bed, it's got a nice, wood texture to it the sides come down as well so carefully pop that open like that so the sides sit down like that so nice and nice and scale looking for loading your cargo it's got a nice interior unfortunately the doors don't open that is a shame because you're gonna have to take the body off to get a scale figure in there it's got like proper looking mirrors on there front lights Roof lights, I don't think they work. No, there's there's holes for LEDs, but there's no LEDs fitted in there. Side repeaters, again, not sure if they work. All features at the rear, you've got yourself a, some mud guards there. And underneath, just a standard um, solid axle setup. Plastic drive shafts, you can see your um, 50 size motor up in there. Anyway, I will get the battery charged. We'll get some batteries in the transmitter. We'll check out the light functions, we'll check out the wheel speed and the steering angle, and then we'll take it for a little scale trail. So battery charged, so we've got steering. It's not the greatest angle. You can actually set it, so if I go, that's 25%, uh, 50%, 100%. It's not the greatest, but servo's nice and quick. So light functions, they're off, or they're on, and then brighter. So the rear ones only work in reverse. I'd have liked to see them on all the time. I'm sure you could rewire them with the uh, front lights. I'd have liked to see them on all the time with the front ones. Anyway, look at how slow it crawls. Are you ready? Look at this modulation. That is nice, isn't it? I don't know what sort of power it's got at that speed, but let's give it a go. And a bit more throttle. Nice. <laughs> right, let's take it out and give it a run. All right, let's give this thing a little go then, shall we? Let's see how it gets on. I love the control of it. It's got some really nice low control. It's been dry for a little while now, so there's no mud. I wanted to take it for a bit of mud, but this is usually a nice area for some muddy stuff, but not today. But anyway, we can still give it a test over this terrain. It's quite fast, that's full throttle. <laughs> so uh, there we go, that's full throttle. Quite quick, it's a bit bouncy not got oil shocks a lot of these small scale things don't have oil shocks although it's certainly something i'd like to see um, on these is some nice dampers 
I mean, it does look good. Bouncing like that, it's a little bit more scale, but just some light oiled shocks would be really good on these. Ooh. It's a good looking truck, this. It's quite fragile. When I was taking the body off to put the little driver in there, I did break, I broke that little spotlight on there. And then there's like little side steps under there. One of them came off as well, so I had to glue them back on. So uh, yeah, be careful with it. I can imagine if I roll this, something might break, which is unfortunate for hard bodies. They are a little bit more fragile than their, their Lexan bodied brothers and sisters. This thing's a nice little scale Unimog. Drives nice and slow. Seems to have plenty of power to haul itself along. It'd look better, a bit weathered. Maybe a slightly different uh, color, like dull it down a bit. It's a bit bright. So because of how fragile it is, I'm a bit scared to sort of drive it past these big rocks. I don't want to be breaking any of it. Oh, nice. Whoa. Come on, let's get out of this mess. Now we're going to do it that way. Oh. Crunch, crunch. Oh, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. I bet something's left behind. Oh no. We're okay. <laughs> Sounded like something came off, but it must have just been the body catching on something. So, because I've got this quite early, I don't know any details on prices. I will leave links in the description. I'd like to think, you know, it's reasonably priced. You're getting a good scale hard body here. The wheels, the wheels and tyres are definitely my favourite. They look so cool. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, they do generally, their stuff's priced fair, I think, for what you're getting. The performance seems to be good. I'm just a bit nervous about that, uh, how fragile it is. So no issues on grass either. This looks like it bit marshy here this will look good when it's uh be good when it's a bit wetter but no problem at all nice bit of grass and moss here well i found a little bit of mud let's give them mud ties a, a try it's probably not that soft actually but looks good though in mud <laughs> There we go. Yeah, not all that soft, but you can see it is digging some tracks in there that it is pulling itself through the mud. Nice. Oh. 